Welcome to How to Slime Fun. So, for this uh, series, I'll be teaching you guys how to slime fun because most of the, some of the real slime players don't really know how to how to play slime how to play slime fun, and also there's not much very updated tutorial on slime fun on slime fun. So yeah, I'll be also post posting a link down below on. The description for the slime fun discord server now is a community server right now and uh yeah so for, uh, for today's episode i'll be teaching you guys how to uh, do start slime fun and also how to install slime fun onto the server so basically if you want to start slime fun you will need to have a, some of these items so grindstone armor forge are semi needed or not but Oil crusher, compressor, smeltery, that is not it. This one, and this one, and... Oh, the panic. Other stuff, don't really need. Industrial miner, it may sound a little bit advanced and might need it, but it doesn't really not. It's it not really need it. If there's any error or other stuff, I'll be covering up on the next episode. So, I'll be... So let's start with enchanted crafting table. So enchanted crafting table is basically a dispenser and and a crafting table. So you may be wondering, does it need to follow the order it, get, it was given? So uh, I dispenser, and their answer is no. Actually, no. I crafting table one and yeah. Doesn't really matter, so I'll just show you guys all the basically each of ways. So there's only four side. Oh, never mind. There's still one more upside down one. So so this is yeah. You can basically each of them will work. As a proof, I'll be I'll be operating each of the machine right now. It only registered what block is on. It doesn't matter what direction, what face is facing, is it upside down or not. There's, it's just only registering what is the block it is. So basically the system is detecting this is a valid enchanted crafting table. And this is also because there's a crafting table and a dispenser on it. So let me remove it and... Alright, so on to the... So for the recipe of it, I'll be explaining in the next episode. For this episode, I'll just mainly teaching you what is essential, what is not. So for the grindstone, you can see the recipes right here. I'll be t t t talking with you guys later on in the next episode. But this is how you make it a fence and a and a dispenser. And dispenser is actually each of the machine interface. So. Uh, if you don't believe fence, uh, nope, not fence gate. I fence and one like this, 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 this. So, so see. Sorry, I could not recognize the item in my dispenser. Please put something in that I know. Here we go. See proof. So. Maybe like this, I don't know. So let's if you really want to prove that it is working, I'll just show you, demonstrate to you. So nether wart. So I nether underscore wart. So there we go. I have a stack of it. So normally this make magical lumps and there we go, boom, magical lumps. So the I've already proved that it works. So random applause. None, of course. I don't know how to so how to create those effects yet. So iron bars, the nether, nether, nether brick fence. This is this one is essential because for all crusher and smeltery, you really need a actual nether brick fence for this. So these are the items you can craft. Mainly, we're using for a making uranium and also carbon car no uh reverting carbon to coal etc not much in not much things are important and also making so flate so fate 
so yeah, sulfate. Flate. Sulfate. It's all over. I cannot speak or sell. Okay, so on the compressor, mainly we're making plates and carbon. These are the stuff you need. Like the compressor I just told, no, the oil crusher I just told, you need, you really need a nether brick fence. If there's other friends you can, uh, you can use, it will be demonstrated so like this. Crimson fence, dark toggle fence, warp fence, etc. So, on to the smeltery. Smeltery is also need a nether brick fence, two nether bricks, dispenser, it doesn't matter facing up or down, and a flint and steel. So, if you're really really not into the what, what does it mean by a flint and steel no it doesn't mean you throw a flint and steel under the structure no 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 what it means that so let me just quickly build a nether so i i nether break i i nether fence Brick fence. Oh, that is not. I need the brick. Uh, not the bricks. Huh? Yep, there we go. So, this, this, this. So, it doesn't have fire under it. So, you may like use a net. Uh, use a. Like, what is it? Uh, the nether. Netherrack. Like this. Oh, you may think like, oh, Netherrack. That means I can get a uh, flint and steel like it and you can have eternal fire. No, it doesn't work like that. It actually uses the the fire, the, the heat in it. And it will eventually go out and like this. Poof, no fire. So you need a dispenser on somewhere like here. And to put a flint and steel right, maybe right here, automate, and maybe a observer is not how I built my mine one in the in my basement. No, it doesn't work. It's not the same design. I'm just making it up. I don't. I don't actually have a f thought of how it works and refill, etc. So maybe like this, and boom, you have a basic setup of like uh, a. Flint and st uh, a automatic lit ignition, ignition for the smeltery, which is also what does the automatic ignition chamber works, which is useless actually. Don't waste another twelve exp on the machine. And also, uh, by the way, each of the exp, each of the let's see, so here, so you see that I have a four forty exp on it. So I want to unlock a maybe a table saw. It actually takes the EXP from you, not the slime so-called slimefin EXP. So basically, I just unlocked another useless item. So yeah, here you go. And if you do not know how does it work, it detects whether there is a fire in it. If there's no more fire, it will detect. Uh, this observer will detect it, and it will send this. It will. This observer will detect this observer. Send a signal, and this will lit up the ups, uh, the dispenser. Now this will uh, this will trigger the dispenser. So on to the next item, which is let's see the compressed chamber. Compressed chamber is basically two piston stone sap facing down. This does not matter if you're really into building aesthetic uh, side of it. You can follow it, but normally we don't. This, uh, there's no rotation to cauldron, so there's no much. It's just in normal glass, and mainly we make it for carbon dough and compressed carbon, etc. Magical crafting bench. So this is mainly for magical items. So for like uh, runes, lumps, and uh, maybe some elemental elemental stuff, somewhat like that. So all washer, basically how you start getting dust. So sift ore. Is how you get a how how uh, you get from a thing called uh, I believe a automatic panning machine here, or you can use a gold pan if you, if you're fancy enough to want to use that. So which is right? Hang on, where is gold pan? 
gold pen. Yep, tier tools. Gold pen. It doesn't really. You don't really need a gold pen for for stuff. But for a of gold pen, yeah, maybe if you if you really want some maybe like, so flate and sometimes if the or. I don't know if they changed the recipe or not, but I'll just go give it a check. So tools and go pen and a nether go pen. Nope, it does not give any sort of a sifted sifted ore. So now you know it. Now you learn something. Great. So um, yeah, this is basically a automatic version of a go go pen, which. It's stationary, it doesn't change, but why do you need two of the gold pen for other so for the future episode I'll be showing electrical stuff and gold pen is one of the things that you need it for a electrical machine. So just a little bit hints, but if for a start you don't need a gold pen. You really don't. It's useless for this stage of how you start something. And also pulverizer ore, this is uranium stuff. And yeah, so this is all washer cover up and also a gold pen. A gold uh, automatic panning machine also cover up. So quick, right? Not really, I just spend like my mouth is actually dry right now. Alright, so let me just cover up the ground. Oh no, I have core protect. Restore user Lamp pro action break minus block block and time I will just ten minutes ago hmm. weird oh uh, what if I plus block ten minutes ago oh well, nope undo I really don't have any sort of. I'll just time. All right, so just pretend none of you see you see none of this stuff. There we go. Let me just fix the ground. And the reason you're not hearing the in-game sound is that I turn it off. So just. In so for you to see. So maybe like how to install Slimefun on the server. So I'll be demonstrating it now. So you open Google and I'll be posting a link down below. So you want to go to a link. So I believe well, let me hop onto Discord. No, this is my blender for future stuff. So on the Slimefun. So, if you want to download, there should be a, let's see, control right here, performance, forward. <laughs> well, yeah, alright, so, uh, get the help up. A show this show. Nope, that is another thing. Suggest implemented. Oh, where is to showcase this crush? I have totally forgot how to get to something. Oh, God. Alright, give me. So where is oh, there we go. Yep, let's hop onto here. So this is a repo server, so I believe this is how how I download so so you basically just click maybe I would rather recommend to have a stable version but for more updated stuff for like if you want to uh, report a bug I def will be a bit better option for you. And yes, I just Keep, keep, and let me just. So you just basically pop this up, and also you need a, another plugin called a, I believe, called LB, I believe, called LB. Let's see, plugin text tank. 
custom plugin. So this is my private server file. So you will need a, another plugin called the CES Core LB. So this actually just run how you run SlimeFun. So yeah. And so to get Core LB, Core LB, I'll be also posting a link down below for you to install. But this is also a. There we go. Uh, so you also need this. And other than that, there should be. Oh, and also placeholder API. Placeholder API. Yep. There we go. This, you also need this plugin. This plugin is also essential to the uh, Stanford. And it will just basically download and there we go. Keep there. If you're opening opening a like maybe a server from the website, maybe FreeMC host, not sponsored, of course. I'm just using it as a example. I my friend uses it. And log and sign up. Blah blah blah. Log in with Discord. Blah blah blah. This is taking too slow. No support. No continue without supporting free MC. Blah, blah, blah panel. And automatic sign in. Also, so my friend and uh, Stella he calls himself like that. So I'll just uh, maybe create a new server. Uh, Okay, so someone just delete my server. Okay, thank God. So, like, maybe I want to create a new server. Actually, I never create a new server from here. So, normally, just uh, forget it. Never mind. Just pretend what I just for didn't say anything. So, you put it into the plugins file and you reboot the server or reload the server. So, slash reload and load. Reload. reload. Or you can reboot the server. Each other way works. Reload just basically refresh each of the plugins and stuff, and make it make it updated. And SlimeFun for future stuff, I'll be showing you how to implement like the SlimeFun into a exist existing world. And yeah, so for server port property etc those are you can just find it online those will tell you how to convert those and yeah I uses a paper server and it works very fine so, so back on to minecraft so um, after you have installed you should be able to at least have a slash sf and it will show you like basically the these commands and stuff, not much stuff I need to actually use. So for a few commands, SF cheat and timing stats. That's actually the are not a admin com command. Cheats are one of the stuff. GIF is also one of the stuff that is admin stuff. Command, open guide, backpack and teleporter. These are stuff that is a com admin type command, and other stuff are player. You can configure configure it in uh, the server files, which you can find it online. Uh, there's not much stuff I can show you because I'm still new to a little bit some of the stuff, but mainly I'll just talk on Slimevin. So there's not much, not much stuff required for me to teach you guys how to operate a server. So yeah. Other than that, mm, yep, there's not much stuff. And also, I'll be, I'm working on a resource pack for SlimeFun, which uses Optifine. Currently, I'm using a Bedline Optifine, which improve improves my FPS and some keystroke mod, etc. Blah blah blah. Not much stuff I need to do. Mm, maybe sometimes replay replay mod. And this space is just basically the future testing area and stuff. To just show you around, I'll be giving you guys a world download once I somehow can somehow found a way to do it, and yeah. 
So this is the first episode of How to Slime Fun. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, subscribe. No, I cannot subscribe. Did I spell it right? Ah, oh, whatever. Subscribe. So ring a bell. Etc. Do all the stuff that other YouTubers tell tell you. Maybe they sometimes tell you quote. Oh, the YouTube notification maybe are going wrong. So maybe ring a bell. Maybe it helps me a lot. Yes, for them. Yes, but for you sometimes. So that is all for today. And if you are really curious, what is the look of outside? I said a world border. So nope, psych. You can hard find. All right, so there we go. So yeah, have fun. The uh, I'll be still posting real some town type uh, episode, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe. Just told, just yeah, what I just told you guys, and yeah, have fun. Bye bye.